huge shout out to our fan that recommended this. Hey, if you haven't already, check out John F. Burn in Northeast Philly. Pretty good shorter course for 67. The cheapest golf course in the Philadelphia. And in the summertime, everyone wants to play this course because it's only $40 to walk it. The historical John F. It originally was Holmes Town Country Club. I believe that's the name if I got it wrong based off of memory checking yesterday. City of Philadelphia purchased it, I think in the 1960s, playing these older courses that have a lot of history. They got a lot of play, a lot of historical figures played this course. You might find a construction cone on this golf course, but originally built in 1931. It's had a lot of construction because it's so old. It's almost 100 years old, built by Alec Finland, who's a famous golf designer. We played a few of his courses. And there's another great course right down the street, the Union League. That's private. We won't be playing there. And on a par three, Alex Finlay really shines. You can see much room to miss here. And it really does drop off on this canal. There's my golf ball right there. Does it get a little patchy? Every course gets patchy. This looks like plywood, maybe. No, that's turf. I suspect that's maybe winter golf happening here. We're outside Philadelphia. They try to push that. You don't get that many tee times in comparison to the summer. It's very easy for a course to turn special. Parts of the golf course that are confusing, like on number 18, you think you're over? Really, that hole's going this way. When it was bought by Philadelphia and renamed after the Senate congressman at John F. Bryan Golf Course. Checking a hole in one. No hole in one, and it's John F. Burnt Golf Club. That's the one we walked into here and snuck in on a no tee time early in the morning in the fall. So the footage isn't the best, but the course does putt true. It has those old aeration systems because it's an old course. It's almost 100 years old. You could slap it all over the place here and you could slam into someone on the other hole because it's tight. You could, it's pretty short. We're going to talk about the yardage, the history, and what else is special about this course. Write down in the comment section what I missed. But play from the back tees if you get anything out of this course and you're thinking about playing it. It's only 5,113 yards from those back tees. It doesn't play that long because it's a par 67, so it can go pretty quick, but it gets backed up. So if you can get out there early, I highly recommend you fly through this golf course. There's people playing before you, trust me. It's right inside the Philadelphia area. It's highly recommended. And I myself has targeted this golf course a few times, but it gets backed up and they have outings. And for the most part, with a good Google review of a 3.9 out of 250 Google reviews. You know, it stays pretty true to its name. And it's affordable, being under $45, I believe, plus a card fee. So those things do add up. But it's one of those courses where you really have some unique putt opportunities and a lot of three putts. Some of the par threes are pretty short, about 160, 170. Some of them play a little bit further, but then you find yourself playing a par four. Course plays short. Don't recommend taking a golf cart, but you know Monday through Friday rates are cheap. $35 for riding, and they got some military discounts as well. It goes up to $48 for riding, and I think there's a $35 twilight rate. So you're not really saving that much. You might want to ride if you you know you kind of want to sit down and enjoy your golf round here. Of course, had a few layout changes that I confirmed with the starter Dennis, great guy, and huge accommodations getting out there early for the round. It's got a lot of resources to keep the course in great shape. Putting surfaces are professional. I put them up there with the Union League, which is right across the street. You could probably see it on a few of the holes. I missed it, though. But it, honestly, the course is fun. You can really enjoy a good round there. Number seven, which was the one that we just mentioned, uh, that was originally number one, and that has changed. So that was one of the layout changes. And then I believe there was a flip-flop with number six and eight. I'm not 100% sure, but he did say that there was some changes and that the course plans to keep everything the same. This is kind of a favorite hole here. Played from the white tees because the footage was a little better higher up. But you can see grounds crew are just ripping out there and taking good care of the golf course, which is highly recommended as we continue to reach out to these superintendents to see if they want to entertain possible interviews or possible golf opportunities down the road. We're always looking for things like that and the channel's going to continue to grow. We're running away, but we're running towards better golf, hopefully. Front nine's fun. Back nine even looks better with this twist and turn into a par four on number 10. 
course, we've got that one iron now. Let's see if we can slap one out there. A little bit of research is a John Jr. and a John Sr. Sr. was a Democrat who was a senator from 1951 to 1952 for the Philadelphia Senate. And then Jr. was also a state senator for the 8th District. And the other one was the 7th District. So within the Philadelphia area, historical roots within Philly. I would love to learn more about them, but we really want to talk more about the golf course. Just the official name of the opening course built by Alex was Holmesburg Country Club. Now, I got that wrong in the beginning of the footage, but again, I was close. It was Holmesburg, and uh, it was a longer layout, apparently. They shortened the course in hopes of really a Scottish warrior coming over and, and taking over the golf industry within the Philadelphia building some great golf courses and being golf architect of Philadelphia and like we could really staple his name as the point of contact within that because no one has put out so many historical golf courses that are still sitting to this day that are built by that golf architect. The course is in great shape, uh, take out the trash, everything about it was top notch for a municipal course for a shorter course. They don't advertise that this is a championship style course. It's a fun course, it's a fall golf course. If you're thinking about playing, get out here. You'll sink some, you'll have some, you'll shoot so much better than you would at a longer course like the Union League right across the street. But it's fun, it's sloppy, and it's it's enjoyable. You can hopefully you can get out here and play this course. What would I rate it out of a one to 10? I think it does belong within the six range. And here's why. It's historical. Anytime you can have a course that stays true to its roots, a lot of the holes are still the same, just a different layout. And to have a, a Philadelphia golf architect that put together some of the best golf courses that I've played in my life. And that's why I think it belongs at a six.